Hey guys, Elpaka77 here and welcome to a new series which will be uploading every so often showing you some possible silvers on FIFA 15. I know this is fairly early compared to last year's FIFA 15 prediction videos but I think everyone will agree with me in saying that this year's FIFA hasn't been great so to be honest I'm mainly looking forward to next year. The website SoFIFA.com is also updating player ratings every week based on their real life performances and also the head to head ratings so all of the ratings of these videos will be based entirely off of SoFIFA and the ratings on there. I can't promise that all of these silvers will happen in FIFA 15, but unless they play really well between now and the end of the season, or actually play really well at the World Cup as well, a lot of them will become great silvers and probably will be rated based on their head-to-head -head currently. So on the left-hand side, I'll show you the current FIFA 14 card of each player, and then on the right-hand side, you'll be able to see a predicted FIFA 15, FIFA 15 version based on the stats on SoFIFA.com. Most of these players will be 74 rated, and the stats will be decreased on the card based on the stats that have decreased on the website. Skill moves and weak foot will also be shown at the bottom, as a few players have changed in terms of skills and weak foot. A few players have moved to 5-star, a few players have, have lost their 5-star skills, lots of things like that. So we'll move on to the first player, and the first player I found has dropped down to a silver is Gabbiadini, plays for Sam the Italian striker, plays for Sampdoria. It was a silver last year, I think it was silver non-shiny, and then was upgraded to a gold as he had a fairly good season. This season though, if, if he has been playing apparently at centre attacking mid, then that could be a possible reason why he may drop to a silver next year, as centre attacking mids usually are high rated if they are passing as well. But because he's mainly played at striker, and he doesn't have particularly good passing, so that means he could be moved to a silver over at centre attacking mid as his passing is a lot lower than most centre attacking mids would have. It would be a very nice silver though and I do expect that if he was to come was to be brought made in, back into a silver as a centre attacking mid then a lot of people would play him as a striker. So we on to the next player and that is Junior Hoylet for QPR. He's been playing okay, I don't think he's had that much of an impact in the championship, as much of an impact as I thought he would, considering when he was at Blackburn he did look a really, really nice player. Has been 77 rated and has been, I think he's been a goal for quite a few seasons now, but in my opinion he hasn't been playing well, well enough to play stay as a goal, so it's pretty likely that he could be changed into a silver and it would be incredibly nice silver. It would be quite comparable to Royce and Drenthe, or Royce and Drenthe, whatever his name is, for Reading. We would have comparable Comparable sort of stats, but would be probably one of the best silver left mids on the game. Would only have three star skills and three star weak foot, but would probably have around the same sort of stats as he does have on the gold card. On to the next player, and that is Kiyate. As far as I'm aware, according to SoFIFA, he hasn't been playing as well this year for Anderlecht, but he's probably one of those sort of players that will change from a gold, a sort of gold like that, from a non shiny gold to a silver every couple of years. So he's the sort of player that alternates. One year he'll be a gold, next year he'll be a silver, and then every every year he'll pretty much do that. Like who it is, he probably won't be as good as last year's Kiyate, probably won't be as fast, but we'll have similar stats and we'll probably be just as good, to be honest, in game. On to the next player, and that is Labayad, transferred from Sporting Lisbon to Vitesse, I think it is, in the Dutch league. And Vitesse got quite a few nice silvers and will have a few nice silvers when you see the rest of the players on, on different episodes that they may have next year. And it's possible that he may be made into a silver as he hasn't had as good a season this year. He will have probably four star skills and five star weak foot. And if he has any sort of stats like that, he's probably going to be one of the best silver centre attacking mids in the game next year. On to the next player, and that is an upgrade. Most of these players will be gold downgraded to silvers, but if I do find a few decent upgrades, and I'll show them as well, and Sharp for Basel is one of them as well, a Swiss centre-back, and he's likely to have very, very nice stats next year. He's played really well from this year, and likelihood is that he'll probably have similar stats to this based on SoFiva. Probably have about 78 pace with really good defence and heading as well. Probably upgraded to a 74. On to the next player, and that is Sissoko, who I think is on loan to Levante from Paris Saint-Germain. And he has, I think he's been on loan to quite a few different clubs. I do remember him in Serie A. I can't remember who it was for, possibly someone like Fiorentina. I may be wrong. And he was likely to be a very, very solid centre defensive mid. Although it only has 63 shootings, shooting's fairly low. He does actually have really good long shots and shot power in game, which is his finishing and other other shooting stats that do let him down. So he's likely to be a very solid centre defensive mid. One of those really, really solid, tall centre defensive mids with really good strength and really good passing and defending stats. And on to the last player of this video is possibly one of my favourites at the moment and could be a favourite if he does get made into a silver and that is Wellington, the classic sweaty gold Brazilian striker. Hasn't been playing as well recently and I think in the last few years he's been going on, a, on loan quite a few times. I think he currently plays for Spartak Moscow but he's gone on loan to quite a few teams, gone on loan back to Brazil and recently he's gone on loan to Celta Vigo in Liga BBVA. It's possible that he may end up in somewhere like Qatar in the next few seasons as he is getting to the age now where options 
options in countries such as that do open up. But if he does end up at a team such as Celta Vigo or anyone similar, even if he goes back to Spartak Moscow and does actually get made into a silver, he could be one of the best Brazil silver strikers in the game next year. He sh should probably have about 85 pace, 72 dribbling, 72 shooting, as well as the four-star skill moves and four-star weak foot. So he does get made into a silver. I'm expecting him to be probably the best silver Brazilian striker on the game next year. So there we go, guys. There's seven possible FIFA 15 silvers. They do look really, really nice, and there's plenty more to come. I have got quite a few more. I've got about 20 or 30 more that I've found recently. So I'll split them into a couple more episodes, and I'll show you them in the next few weeks. So if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to give this a like, and thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.